Hello everyone, welcome you all. So in this video we are going to discuss about design equations for microstrip circular patch antenna in HFSS. So uh, we, uh, if you are designing a microstrip patch antenna in HFSS, we need to find three things about the uh, antenna. So what is the operating frequency material used and how much radius we will be getting. So in order to calculate the radius, I uh, will be having some formulas. So by referring that one, we can find it out easily. So what are those? Let us see. For first one, that is edge feed. So in edge feed, what the uh, scenario will be? So there will be patch with the radius R at the center of the substrate. So there will be a substrate which size is 2 into 2R and width will be 2 into 2R and length will be also 2 into 2R where R is the radius of the patch. So depending on its radius, the size of the patch will be decided and this is the feed which is given to the edge of the circular patch so that's why it is called edge feed. So uh, radius R is given by 87.94 into 10 to the power 6 divided by FR into square root of epsilon R where FR is the the frequency at which the antenna needs to be designed so it is the frequency at which you are designing the antenna epsilon r is the permittivity of the material used in the antenna design so suppose you are using uh, fr uh, that is fr4 then its epsilon r value will be 4.4 fr4 rocks and epoxy those are different materials which are available for the uh, patch okay so r is the radius of antenna so once we calculate radius then you can find it out the length that is width of the substrate that is this one width by multiplying 2 into 2r uh, so if you put for r then we will be getting width then length can be calculated by 2 into 2r that is width and length will be almost same so let us see an example here so design at a frequency of uh, 2 into 10 to the power 9 that is 2 gigahertz so what r will be getting so 87.94 into 10 to the power of 6 right I want no. let me just write like this 87.94 into 10 to the power of 6 divided by fr is 2 into 10 to the power 9 into epsilon r is 4.4 because you are using fr4 material so 0 0.02096 so if you convert it to millimeter it will be 20.96 so for this one we are getting 20 as the radius so this is case for edge speed now if you are going for insert feed that is we will be cutting the rectangle here and inserting the uh, feed to inside the uh, patch okay this is we are do doing to have a better impedance matching between this uh, patch and the feed for better impedance uh, matching we will be doing like this okay so this is substrate again patch and feed line which is inserted into so in order to calculate this will be 3 mm for all and 1 mm will leave this side and 1 mm so 3 plus 1 plus 1 it will be 5 now we, we need to find out f5 so radius is again same 87.94 into 10 to the power 6 fr into epsilon r so the insert length formula is given by this formula okay so 10 to the power minus 4 p minus q epsilon r plus r into epsilon r square minus s into epsilon r cube plus t into epsilon r to the power 4 minus so it is noted that plus minus plus minus alter p q r s epsilon r to the power 0 it will start epsilon r to the power 1 epsilon r to the power 2 epsilon r to the power 3 so like this you can remember easily and multiplied by l by 2 at the end so these all are constant whose values are listed here so i have simplified them so it will be coming 0 0.20682 including this by 2 so we need to only multiply length so that i have left so if you calculate for the same frequency at 2, 2 gigahertz we will be getting 20 as radius now we will see what we will be getting the inset field so 0 0.20682 into length is what 2 into 2r so 2 into 2 into 20.96 okay radius is 20.96 so i need to multiply by uh, length here 2 into 2 into 
20.96 right so i will close the brackets i will be getting how much 17.339 17.339 as a insert length so it will be inserted from here to here 17.339 so this is the this from this it will be 17.33 so this distance f5 is calculated so by this we will be having good impedance matching and we will be getting high return losses so, okay so thank you thanks for watching see you again